Hey there, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video, we'll take a look at the Shuttle Express from Contour and give it a whirl with Adobe Audition. Okay, Koki, getting started is really super simple. You just go to forums.contourdesign.com and go to the Shuttle Downloads and then find your operating system. I'm on a Mac, so here we go. Find the very latest version. That'll be it right there in a lovely zip file. And when it's downloaded, you can install it. It works with all models of the Shuttle, so the original Shuttle Pro, Shuttle Pro V2, and the Shuttle Express that I'm demoing here. So let's run this now and get this all installed. Once you have installed the Shuttle device driver, you'll notice you get this lovely icon in the top right on your Mac. You can go into Shuttle Settings, and you can see the wide variety of programs it's compatible with, including, you'll be pleased to know, Audacity, and lots of other audio editors there. In fact, uh, pretty much as many as I could uh, care to reel off. But Audition CC is what we're interested in, and you can see a whole heap of uh, compatibility here, including the left and the right-hand keys being for Home and End. You've got Reverse and Play and stop as well and of course the jog wheel and the shuttle let me show you how this all works right now uh, by going into Adobe Audition CC here's a promo I'm working on and I'll show you how I can rifle through this using just the shuttle express so first of all you've got the outer ring here and then when I find my edit point, I can use the fine-grained jog wheel to jog that marker. You see how that's jogging around to whatever point I want to work on. So very good to, to jog and fine-tune into exactly where I want to go. And if I want to skip through and find something specific, I can just... From the Walking Dead video game. No one is... And I can stop using that key there. I can play back. Going anywhere. Stop. Play back. Cool. Stop playing yeah. back. I can go to the start, this key over here. I can go to the end of my audio over here. So very easy to start, start and end, start and end like that. And of course, I've got uh, the ability to go back yeah. using this key. On convention and exhibition center. Way. And stop finally at the end. Uh, so a lot of great stuff you can do with this Shuttle Express. That is just a brief overview. But of course, if you go into Shuttle Settings, it's completely customizable. So I could go in and uh, change it so that instead of having reverse here, I could change that to any keystroke I like. So it could be a keystroke uh, that is a favorite that I use a lot. It could be a, a cut so I can make a cut in Adobe Audition. Uh, you can even look down here and you can mimic mouse clicks, scrolls, brightness and volume as well. So much you can do uh, with this Shuttle Express. There is the more advanced uh, Shuttle Pro version 2 that I'm going to demo in another video, but this gives you a brief overview of what's possible with the Shuttle Express. So there you go, small and compact, but perfectly formed from Contour, the Shuttle Express, great for audio editing, really speeds things up, and to have that jog wheel really helps with uh, getting fine-tuned edits. Let me know how you get on with this in the comments to this video.